typically the time of year when baseball players are thinking about spring training and getting packed up to head south. But for a Pirates catcher, there is a much larger priority right now. His mother was kidnapped in his home country of Venezuela. Megan Schiller joins us now live with details. Megan. Good morning. The, presidents of the, the president of the Pirates says that the team is actively working with authorities in order to get her home safely. Right now, the family is going through this terrible situation and they are asking for support and privacy during this time. Now, Diaz played 65 games with the Pirates in 2017. Right now, he's just asking for the city's support and prayers. Venezuelan media first reported this news on Thursday, saying that the player's mother was kidnapped in San Francisco. That is a town 430 miles west of Caracas. Now, we talked with a Venezuelan man who moved here for an engineering job, and he said that some people in his native country are now just so desperate that they are trying this thing called the express kidnap. A few guys grab you, put it in a car, tour it around the city, looking for ATMs, grab your credit cards, your debit cards, check in on everyone. You have to give your, mm -hmm. your password. And the Pirates have released a statement saying, quote, we are all shocked and deeply concerned for Elias's mother, as well as for Elias and his entire family. And we are using all of the resources available at the Pirates and Major League Baseball to support Elias and his family during this incredibly difficult time. As we work with authorities on, this mom, on his mom's safe return, we will withhold further comment. And unfortunately, that man telling us that not only is it common kidnapping there in Venezuela, it's also very common for them to target the family members of professional baseball players. We'll have more details throughout the course of the morning and we'll, of course, bring you any updates if the situation changes. But for now, we're putting live outside PNC Park. Megan Schiller, KDKA TV Morning News.